Welcome to 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. The 14th Amendment, ratified on July 9, 1868, just three years after the end of the Civil War, asserted an idea that would have confirmed the worst fears of the Confederacy before the war, that African Americans would be full and equal citizens of the United States. In fact, the former Confederate states were required to ratify the amendment in order to regain representation in Congress. Section 1 of the 14th Amendment reads as follows. All persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States. Nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. The 14th Amendment recognized African Americans as citizens of the United States and the states where they lived. The amendment was passed to stop state governments from unfairly discriminating against African Americans. The 14th Amendment also prohibited states from making or enforcing laws that abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens or denied due process or equal protection of the laws. The amendment began the process of incorporation, which means applying the protections of the Bill of Rights to state governments. They had originally applied only to the national government. Of course, the 14th Amendment did not stop the unfair treatment of African Americans. States still passed laws that allowed unfair discrimination. The struggle for civil rights would continue well into the 20th century, and some would argue that equal protection of the laws has not yet been fully achieved even today. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.